and welcome back to Robot Showdown. Series 1, the fifth heat is here. Heat E, part 1. Okay, so far four heats have been over. One of them I don't think was very good, but the other three have ruled. In the last heat, Heat D, we saw Danton Kia impressively make its way through to the quarterfinals to join Tornado, who won Heat C, Firestorm, who won Heat B, and Chaos 2, who won Heat A. However, though, the next thing is... It's a robot showing on some sound here, but then it would be. Um, I've changed the sides a bit, and I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news just before we start heat heat. Okay, um, the good news is, this is a good heat lineup. It's not so much about strong robots this time around, it's about some fun robots and quite interesting ideas. The bad news is, um, Bad Wind, one of the contestants, which is actually a whoopee cushion, Doctor Who's Slivine whoopee cushion, which is kind of annoying, I think I've lost it, I think it's going to be thrown away, but they've had the, well really, they've had the pull out with engine failure, but replacing them is Crimson Leaf, I managed to find him, you'll see him in a moment, he's a Pac-Man, so I reckon Lego Junk 96, I bet he'll be rooting for Crimson Leaf all the way, so, a very interesting lineup for the first round, you can see the ref bot over there, standing proudly, also, there's one or two more minor notes to make just before we kick off Heat E. We have the usual music and everything, but first of all, the, the good news, I guess, for the house robots, Shunt has got his wheel guard super glued on, so he's now got a wheel guard, because for quite some, for about two years, Shunt has had the misjoy of not getting a wheel guard. Well, now he's got one. I found out there's this weird thing that happens if you pull the back then the front closes in. If you push the front, I mean the back forward, then the front goes out. Weird. And finally, the bad news. Mr. Psycho is competing in this heat, but he's very damaged, and it is revealed I'm going I'm to be getting a new Mr. Psycho, maybe for my birthday, for Series 2. M probably not Series 1 Extreme. Mr. Psycho might not be competing there. He might only be in Series 1, but... Good luck for the Solve Machine, because he'll join in Series 2's Amputated Psycho. Which might sound a bit weird. I was going to call him Imposter Psycho, but that's so copying Richie's Robot Wars. And you just can't copy that series. So let's move down to the front, and let's get on with Part 1 of the 5th Heat. Heat E. You can see down the alley, we've got some very good machines waiting for us. So what are we waiting for? Let's get on with round one of Heat E. So only one replacement robot. We have Razor. Now, Razor is very battered, this machine. It's got an incredibly powerful crushing floor, but you can see it up against the arena walls. It can just scratch it, because the arena walls are too high up for Razor's crusher to reach. However, it can punch that bit of grit. Well, it's not quite, but I don't know what that's doing on the floor, but I don't know it looks disgusting. Anyway, um, Razor's, yeah, he's, he isn't a lifter, but anyway, he's got the great crusher. But you can see he's missing a wheel from my two Chaos vs. Firestorm series. Please don't watch that, my will not send for some That's terrible. But, um, in one of the later series, um, Growl actually bit the wheel guard off. So you can see he has no wheels. But better than that, everyone knows Razor to be a bit like an eagle with his self-writing wings. But they're not very effective in mine, unfortunately. But he does, the crowd really like him, but he's just not as strong as he used to be. Unlike Tornado, Razor's gone down in the ranking since Robot Wars. And he's just not as strong as he used to be. Still, though, a great machine, this one. Next on, we saw him in the Series 1 intro. He Flipped himself over, so he'll re come on. It's Carol of the Barrel. Yes, now this little Lego machine is a wheelbarrow which flips. It's incredibly flimsy and it destroys itself, but more the fact it's in there with a crusher like razor frankly worries me. Now the flipper isn't bad, it's actually toppled shunt before, and it is quite a good little thing. But you can see that's what happens half the time the barrel comes off. Now without the barrel, this happens. If sooner or later, that's just going to happen, and the robot is going to fall to bits. Luckily for me, though, Carol of the Barrel is a very easy machine to put back together. But you knowing me, I'm a bit of a dumb shit, and I can't put things back together to save my life. So 
Anyway, Cow the Bounce going to be one of the two Lego machines competing in my series, so he's going to be representing the Lego robots in Series 1 Extreme, but he'll be up against a pullback, a cardboard, and probably a Kinect, so I'd be expecting a nasty battle. Next on, Deadly Casing. Now, this one was made it to the grand final of the second untelevised series. It's some people say it's a full body spinner, but you can see the discs moving around inside. It's actually a CD sort of thing which carries CDs around. A CD carrier, you could say, which for spare discs. But it's very tough. It's got glass on the top. Unfortunately, it has no screen neck, but it's got a very low ground clearance. The brim is very hard to get beneath. And I'm sure this machine can make it a long way. And, last but not least, I'm proud to pre represent Silver Ball. Now, it may look useless, it's basically Steer from Richie's Robot Wars, or as I call it, Silver Ball. But, this machine, well, it's the Steer team sold this robot to a new team who just called Silver Ball. But it's not actually that bad, it's able to flip robots over, it can't be crushed by Razor, it can't be flipped. I wouldn't be surprised if this one made it through to the next round, because it's surprisingly destructive as well. It's a full body spinner too, although it doesn't really, it's not actually really a full body spinner, it has no real weapons. But it's quite lightweight, but very hard to flip or attack. I see this one making it a long way. The lineup is Razor. Tower of the Barrel, Silver Ball, and Deadly Casing. I'm doing this at 10 o'clock. I do heat every day right now. But the heat's going to be uploaded. Well, I'm uploading heat day tomorrow, but anyway. In for the House Robot Corner Cam. Shunt. Pre be prepared, though, Shunt, because you are in there with Razor, and he's got that crusher. Don't let him get near you. And his bow... His bow I almost said his bowler buddy. Uh, his, um, his buddy growler, or his growler buddy, or whatever. Growling buddy. Um... Growler. Won't let him either. And the music is actually going to be the Jack 2 Haven City Hovercar theme. And this is for, I'd like to thank Sir Burry Gond 9. Strange username. For uploading this. It just says, This is the variation of the Haven City theme played while in a hovercar. Enjoy, sir. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Activate. Ball. Now he's going straight for Carol the Barrel. I'm, I'm attacking the rough bot. Now there's Razor. Oh, and Carol the Barrel barrels him straight off. And the flipper's looking crooked. Not very fast though, Deadly Casey. However, what? Okay. Sorry, my dad's very strict. Yeah. Razor trying to puncture the armor. Very difficult to do so. Carol the barrel back up on its wheels, but looking damaged. Not many signs of hope for this machine. Look at some of the ball. See what I mean? It's pretty grassy. Ow! Razor. The attack. Sorry about this, it's just, I know what my family is very funny about. Okay, delicating, spinning, razor, puncturing, but it's not getting anywhere. Oh, look at that. I only deadly casing you play. You made it to the grand final of the second series, the untelevised series. Why is it you're just not strong here? Oh, but look at that! Oh. Well, let's push against that. Look at that. Unless you can see the barrel on the floor. Count the barrel doesn't look good though. I think he's gonna go. Okay, ref boss coming in to count out count of the barrel. He's trying to move. But Oh, he's, he's still in that. What was that? Ow. Ow, Carol, the barrel's 
game owned by Silver Ball. Okay, that's so we'll probably go into the next part. But anyway, Razor's trying to drag them! Trying to. Oh my god! But can a machine like Deadly Casing fit through the gap? Oh god! They're trying to get back in, but they just haven't done anything. Let's count the barrel. I think we'll see you in the next part. Oh, wait. About 10 seconds left. Look, they're finding it hard to move.